Hey guys, welcome back to the Starkville YouTube channel. We're down in my dungeon, also known as my basement. And this is where I've been keeping a lot of my stuff since I've been switching more to Merchant Fulfilled rather than FBA. And it's worked out really well. I want to show you guys my way of doing this uh, storage. Just to give you a couple of tips if you're doing stuff on eBay or Amazon and having a hard time with storing things or finding things. Uh, I did recently make a video on the spreadsheet I use and this kind of goes in in conjunction with that because one of the columns of the spreadsheet was my storage so at the moment I have nine different storage uh, shelving units down here and then a bunch of this stuff it's on the floor that doesn't really fit I don't know if I can you can kind of see those all those tubs back there are the exact same damn thing I just have a lot of it to try and get rid of but you'll see each of my storage shelves are numbered. Number one, number two, number three, and so on and so forth. And then each shelf I have numbered individually. Like that would be shelf one, that's shelf two, that's shelf three, that's shelf four. So like uh, this thing on top is 1-1. One -one. And that's uh, how I find stuff in my spreadsheet is... I don't know what shelf it's on. Um, one other, or a couple other things is, I know I've heard other people suggest these heavy-duty ass shelving units, and I really don't understand why anyone would spend that extra money for their eBay or Amazon inventory. These cheap ones that I get at um, usually like Menards or Walmart or something, you can usually get them on sale for twenty bucks. You might be able to get a little bit better price, but they're rated at a hundred and fifty pounds. Per, uh, per shelf. So I don't know what the hell these people are putting on it that they need these heavy duty ones because this has worked out just fine for me. Um, and I've been transitioning towards clear tubs. You can see it's kind of a mix but as I add things in I like the tubs better for one because they can just seal better and they're made of plastic rather than a cardboard box. Uh, the clear ones because without opening it I can see kind of how full something is. Like that box is pretty empty. And I can see, uh, you know, just get an idea of what is in each individual tub. One thing that's really annoying is these shelving units seem to be a standard size, or at least the ones I got. Like, we can take a look down here. You can't put two damn tubs side by side. They don't exactly fit. Like, those are pretty close, but you can't really get this lid on. And, um... Those are two different kinds of tubs, so they fit. If you get tubs that are two different heights, they fit. They don't fit at all on these white ones. These white shelving units I actually found in the garbage. Someone was throwing two of them away, and they look perfectly fine to me, so I thought, hey, I'll keep that. So that's what I use, guys, and I got a dehumidifier down here to keep the moisture out. haven't had any problems as far as anything getting damaged down here. I imagine if my basement did flood, first thing I'd be doing is grabbing these tubs and bringing them upstairs if I was home. If I wasn't home, I would just sit in a puddle of water and cry. But it's important to be organized and know where things are at. Nice thing is, if I clear out my garage, or my garage, my basement, I got plenty of room to go down here still. This is just one little corner, and all of that is junk, so it can go... Just food for thought, guys. A good way to organize your inventory so you know where everything's at, you know how much you have of everything. So, hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to the channel.